Okay. All right. It's uh, uh, February 29, 2020. I want to talk about uh, globalism and um, versus uh, nationalism and um, <clears throat> also uh, collectivism versus individualism. Right now, we're in the middle of this coronavirus problem. And um, supply chains to business in America and other countries, but mainly in America, I'm, I'm focusing on, uh, a lot of supply chains are uh, failing and breaking down because um, for, you know, what, 40 years, a um, little longer, but especially 40 years, uh, America's been get, getting most of their products made in China and, and moving uh, pr factories and, uh, you know, production of, of, of things to China. So here we go. Um, now with this coronavirus problem, uh, factories um, shut down or transportation is uh, limited or shut down and then, then the, your supply of um, your business goods <clears throat> is um, stopped or limited and there's a breakdown. And so globalists like the, the EU, the UN type people, um, yeah, globalists, one world order, one world government, the Antichrist thing, system, Babel, Tower of Babel, Babylon, uh, Revelation 13, uh, one world government, one world religion, one world um, economy, and all. anyway, that um, all things together deal, which is the same as universalism, and um, it's all a, it's Antichrist, uh, it's a Lucifer system. <clears throat> now God comes along and He divides. He divided them them at the Tower of Babel, and then He, in, in Acts it says He gave borders and boundaries and different people are going to be here and there and so forth and he separates sheep and goats he separates the wheat and the tares he separates the um, israelites from egypt he separates the israelites out of babylon and so forth he separates them he says come out from among them and be separate touch not the unclean thing do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers well globalism is one of the main things to cause unequal yoking Covenant, agreement, Don't make no agreement with an evil man. Make no, agree, uh, make no agreement with the inhabitants of the land. Make no covenants with the inhabitants of the land or you're going to learn their evil ways. They're going, to, they're going to deceive you and pollute you and defile you and turn your heart away from God. And then you're going to be cursed and go to hell. So when God told Moses and then Joshua to take the people to the land and end this journey, he said, don't make any covenant, any agreement at all with the ungodly. Uh, people with the ungodly nations or they're going to be a snare and they're going to deceive you defile you and turn your heart away from God and you're going to get you they're going to get you to sin and, and, and do all kind of crazy stupid destructive things and then you'll be cursed and then you'll end up going to hell and so globalism wants um, nations to all unite with one uh, government or one whatever you know like like the EU over there um, is is a, is a, the UN and the EU is an example. What they want to suck, they're they're an example, but they want to suck America into it and other <clears throat> things. But a few nations have uh, woke, woken up and getting out of it. Thank God that God sent President Donald Trump to get America out of that. Uh, that that devil idiot Obama and other people and Bush too uh, was bringing us into more and more and more into that globalist um, one world um, connection <clears throat> and anyway and so um, God sent President Trump God sent President Trump God sent President Trump God sent Donald Trump to get America to, to save America to, 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 to cast the demons out of America and the evil people out of America and put them in jail or destroy them and we pray God would kill and make an example out of the worst of them so the fear of God would come Amen. If you don't look at that, you're a religious dummy. God says, God, about himself, God says, I killeth and I maketh alive. You know, God killed more people than he saved. Bill Hammond, thank God for Bill Hammond. He preaches a message 
God killed more people than he saved out of his own choice with the flood of Noah and uh, even his own people over there in, in with, you know, Moses and Joshua and the enemies of the land and uh, the, 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 all the ites over there and so forth and so on and narrow is the way. And uh, don't think you know more than God. God is just. He, 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 he hardens some hearts. Romans 9, Romans 11, what are you going to do with that? No one. I dare you, any of you preachers, I dare you, I challenge you to teach and preach on Romans 9 and Romans 11. You won't touch it because you don't know what to do with that. You know? <clears throat> but it says, God says, I, have, I got my reasons. I harden some and I show my wrath on them. And then others, I soften and I wake them up and I switch them on and I give them grace to show mercy. Hey, he says, and, and, and you question it? He says, what, what are you doing to say to God? You know, why are you doing it? What, what doest thou? He goes, what are you doing? Clay trying to tell the potter, ah, shut up and fear God. So the evil people need to be judged and destroyed and then they're, they're, they're you know, and removed. And it's funny, all the people that want population reduction, all these globalists and so forth, well, I guess what? Let them be the ones that are removed. <laughs> Amen. Let Jeremiah escape. Let Daniel and his friends escape. Let old uh, Joshua and Caleb escape. Amen? <clears throat> so anyway, and so um, globalism is terrible. And so China uh, has been, because of the globalist system set up, they've been making so many products for years. Now, with this coronavirus scare, uh, the supply chain lines are shut down. And it's going to damage businesses. And who knows? We're just, this thing's, it's kind of just getting started. We'll see. But here's the deal. You need to be self-sufficient. You need to have uh, protectionism. India, thank God, they've had it f for a long time. They got under so much pressure, they started opening up to outside companies. But it's good. Like Israel, and, and, and I mean, although Israel does a lot of trading, but 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 they are prejudiced against. And uh, But it's good to have, I mean, you know, like, like Mr. Trump is right, America first, you know, and bring your factories back to America, manufacture your, your goods in your country, and just to save some money and actually put put things in, in, in danger and in, in a fragile, dangerous position to have all your products made in, you know, other countries, China or, you know, whatever, Bangladesh or Mexico, Indonesia. That's not good because when something like this coronavirus comes and everything gets shut down, your business could fail. You could lose everything. And then even there could be a, a breakdown in the food supply. Then you start getting into other um, breakdown of society and rioting and chaos and, and so forth. And then you're really getting into a, a very um, destructive uh, chaos uh, situation like you've seen in many countries. And there's been riots here in America Many times, many, many times. Do your, you know, study, look at your history. And um, so you need to be self-sufficient. That's my point. Globalism is collectivism, like communism. They all go hand in hand. And they say, you know, join up with the evil countries. You know, you're going to be in covenant. The, the Bible says, um, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Make no covenant, make no agreement with the evil people and the ungodly. Or you'll be cursed. You see, you, you when you when you join, if those people are under God's curse, if they're not Christian, they're under the curse and the judgment. And so you join with them, you're going down also. And that's what this is all about. The doctrine of Balaam is being revealed more than ever. Look at Revelations 2 and 3, the doctrine of Balaam. It said you tolerate the doctrine of Balaam. You tolerate Jezebel and the doctrine of Balaam. That's what's going on. The Jezebelic spirit, which is against the prophets and the way of God, and the doctrine of Balaam is being exposed again, and, and you got to get out of it, have nothing to do with it. And so you have to be, um, you cannot be a, um, um, a uh, what do you call it, globalist or a, uh, a uh, collectivist. You have to be individual. Uh, individual. You have to be self-sufficient. The devil doesn't want you self-sufficient. He, he wants you, um, because look, You'll tolerate witchcraft if you are in globalism or you are in collectivism. You will tolerate e the evil people, the unbelievers, the, the liars, the hypocrites that are in the collective, that are in the group. 
and then you'll be defiled by them. And they'll hinder you from obeying God because they'll persecute you. They'll, they'll hinder you. They will reject you. They'll start political, you know, whatever, putting you on the outside and maybe taxing you or not letting you in or so. So therefore, so you can't be subject to evil people. Amen. You have to be self-sufficient. You and God in you, Christ in you, the hope of glory. And then only be connected to people that are real Christians, that are real. They're not hypocrites. They're not fake. They're not liars. They're not lazy. They're not fake, you know, but diligent people that are excellent, that show fruit, that show the fruit, that show the consistent fruit. And then connect, be, go ahead and be connected with those, those, those people. But a few quality people is better than millions of hypocrite or fake or lazy or undisciplined people. Amen. So you stupid people that believe in collectivism, which goes right along with socialism and communism and the new world order and globalism. They all go hand in hand. Notice it's the people that are really into this relationship thing, even in Christian things and collectivism, mainly based in Europe, mainly based in Europe. And they put down America. They despise America. Isn't that something? But America got out of that sewer devil curse, the defiled European system. So don't be seduced back into it by p the, the people in Europe are cursed. Every the, 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 That good fellow recently from Denmark got out of there, old, um, what's his name, Sondergaard. They were going to put him in jail and, and start, they were persecuting. He had to run for his life. That's how bad Europe is. Europe is not savable. There could, the Bible says a remnant, okay, a little tiny remnant, but look here. Focus your attention either on the totally unreached, which would be in Asia, Asia, or, and saving America right now. And of course, you know, uh, bless Israel, help Israel. And that's really it right now. The unreached in Asia, save, deliver, heal, restore America, and then help Israel because Israel is going to be switched on and take it. They're going to be the leader anyway, the Bible says, uh, Romans 11, and in many places. Um, and if you don't believe that, you're a stupid, what do you call it, replacement theology idiot. So get out of deception, get real. But yeah, so get out of collectivism because you'll be subject to those stupid people. Maybe they're in secret sin. Maybe they're not diligent. Maybe they're unbelievers. Maybe they have a form of godliness that denies the power. Uh, maybe they're just total. I mean, in globalism, you you be connected to communists, uh, pagan, Islam, Socialist, communist, sinner, wicked, ungodly, fake, Catholic, uh, deceived people, devils, crazy people. You're going to be, you, if, you, if you yoke yourself and if you agree or sign a paper or covenant with those people, you're going down with them because they're going down. They're cursed. They're going to hell. You're going down with that sinking ship. Get out of it like Brexit and Hungary got out of it and Brazil getting out of it and so forth and other ones. And, uh, um. Be self-sufficient like Israel. Like Israel. Be self-sufficient. You and God. You doing the right thing. You being diligent, obeying God, you will be blessed. And you don't need other people. You only need to be connected to the people that are also real. Living right. In faith. Believing. Living holy. Living godly. Um, living in covenant. Good and faithful people. Faithful and true witnesses. Amen. And God will bless you. If you, if you diligently hearken and, and obey all of his commandments, these blessings shall come up. The Lord will bless you. The blessing of the Lord will come upon you. <clears throat> Amen. God will make you very rich and great. But if you connect to these evil people, you're going down. You connect with evil people and collectivism, fake ones, religious. Religious is the worst. Religious people, they'll bring you down. They'll bring you under the curse, and they'll send you to hell and your family and generations after you. If you believe in the Holy, if you, if you believe, if you're filled with the Holy Ghost, you believe the Bible. You believe the Bible. You believe the Bible. You believe that Jesus is still doing everything he did. You believe God's the same yesterday, today, and forever. God does not change. You believe he's still working Christ in you, the hope of glory. You, can, if you cannot connect with Baptist or cessationist or Presbyterian or whatever sort of Anglican or whatever type of people, Lutheran, dead, even dead Fake, uh, what do you call it? symbols of God type people? If they're you, you can only be connecting with people that are real. Look at their fruit. You know, come over here, cast that devil out, pray, and see if God's with you. 
If God's with you, that, he'll, that blind eye will open, that deaf ear will open, that cripple will walk, that demon will come out. You'll have a words of knowledge, word of wisdom, gifts of the spirit, if God is with you. If God's not with you, get away from me. Unless you want to learn and learn truth and repent and grow and develop in the gifts and character of God and get your heart right, get your heart cleansed, clean hands and pure heart, deliver your soul from idols. Unless you want to be real, get away from me. I only want to be connected with the people that God confirms them and backs them up. Because, uh, you know, by the cleanness of, the, of thy hands, God will back you up. God will work with you and confirm your word with signs and wonders and miracles following. If you believe, if you live holy and clean, without holiness, no man will see the Lord. So you can't be connected to people that God is not with. That means they're under judgment or curse, and they're going to bring you under the defilement of it. Either they're going to follow you into truth, or they're going to bring you down into uh, limitation, curses, lack, sickness, lack of money. Problems, confusion, discouragement. Are you happy? Who's stolen your joy? Are you, uh, uh, you know, as you, as, you, as you came to the Lord, therefore walk in him. You know, where's your happiness and, and joy and zeal to win souls and just, just be with the Lord? Are you discouraged? Are you angry? Are you have roots of bitterness? You're bit, that's because you're around the wrong people. That's collectivism. That's universalism and globalism. And, and, and okay, so again, America's in trouble because they connected to China, and, and they've they, they've allowed themselves to need China and other um, foreign countries that that manufacture and and, and supply uh, all kind of stuff. I didn't know China and some of these idiot nations were making uh, certain medications and uh, you know certain uh, health. With pharmaceuticals and so forth, which I'm not, I'm not, I'm against that stuff kind of anyway, but some stuff, I guess, you know, is necessary. Well, mine, I at least get it made in, in a good place is like, <clears throat> you know, Western Europe or something or, or something, or just make it here, something that you control the quality and account. There's accountability. China is a deaf, devil joke, sewer mess, is hell on earth, the biggest liars ever, the biggest fake ever. Um, most of it, there's, a, there's, there's good people there too, but most of them are not saved. So therefore they, they act like the devil. They're of the father of the devil, the children of the dragon. You can't be subject to that. Now the globe, I tell you what, this, this coronavirus is from the devil, but still the good thing is it's starting to make people wake up and, and, and come out and be separate and not in touch with the unclean, unclean thing. Do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. You need to make America first nationalism the word of the lord is nationalism thank god for brexit america is um make america great again thank god for donald trump if you don't like donald trump you're a devil you're a fool you're deceived you're an idiot you're watching cnn communist news network bbc all the lying mainstream news get over there and watch fox news or get over there and look at breitbart news or drudge report or epoch times or infowars or david knight and accurate news that is true and uh, CBN 700 Club News, something like that, and get truth, and, 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 and get out of the uh, get out of the lies of the globalism, the New World Order, the Luciferian Freemasonry uh, uh, rulers of this world, spiritual principality, spiritual rulers of wickedness in high places, the demon possessed people of high ranking demons that rule the banking. Um, and uh, the, 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 and, and pull the puppet strings uh, of the government leaders all over the world, except for Donald Trump. And there's, you know, Nigel Farage, the, the current leader of Hungary and, 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 and Brazil, and a few people are real and coming out of that mess. Um, but the rest of them, especially all the European devil idiots, um, and well, they can't control Mr. Putin either. Heart, you know, I, I don't think he's a bad guy because of the fruit. He's against all the pervert, uh, homo demon agenda and all the other wicked witchcraft mess. He's against it. He's a, he's against the terrorism and Islamist devil, pagans, and he 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 he's not putting up with the mess. And he's telling New World Order, just get out of here, jump off a bridge, go to hell, get out of here, globalist New World Order. And um, <clears throat> whoever the the mainstream media puts down, they're probably a good guy. 
You know, and whoever the mainstream media upholds as good is usually evil and bad. So God curse and damn to hell CNN and mainstream media and BBC and all the devil lie and false prophet, the beast and the false prophet and the Antichrist, they all work together. That false prophet could be the, the lying media, news media, <clears throat> and the empowerment of the beast and the false prophet could be any type of um, EU leader or UN leaders, so forth like that, or just um, heads of state that are um, not, not, not fearing and serving Jesus Christ. They, they would be antichrists. First John says, there's many antichrists already here, and so whatever, that lawless one. But it's all, he's coming, but it's already here anyway, so whatever. You don't even know what the mark of the beast system is. It could be just wrong thinking, a bad, wrong heart and wrong thinking. In your forehead, in your hand, that means what you think and believe and what you do, your hand is your action. What you think in a mark in your thinking and in your actions of your life, your thoughts, your actions, uh, being influenced by the devil, the beast. It's probably just like that. It's probably right here. People waiting on some chip and implant or whatever. They, they, no, you morons, it's here right now. The things that going to be already has been. The things that has been going to be again. There's nothing new. So it's here. It is here right now. Today is the day. It's right now. The, 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 the things of God are right now, but the things of the enemy are right now also. So you're over there looking, where is it coming? No, it's here. It's right there. It says Satan was standing by his right hand over there in Zechariah. And Paul said, the evil is always with me, constantly. And the enemy was messing with Jesus. He, he went away. He was waiting for an opportune time to come and hit him again. Through people, through thoughts, through situations. It's on right now. The war is right now. And there's no release from this war, it says in Ecclesiastes. <clears throat> so you better wake up. You better get real. You better watch and pray. Don't let your life be broken into by a thief. Watch and pray and prevent it. And overcome. I commend you to overcome, the Bible says. If you overcome, you shall inherit all things. If you overcome, I'll give you rule and power and authority. Amen? It's time to rule and smash with the rod of iron and rule in these nations and set things in order. It's time to establish righteousness. It's time to establish the kingdom of God with violence. You don't even know what that means. Look at Israel. Build a wall, have the best guns, be the best people at shooting them guns, and missiles and nuclear weapons and uh, fighter jets and Navy and intelligence and and just protect your people. Be safe, be wise, be excellent, be godly, be very rich and wealthy, be powerful. And just, amen. And just, let's say, watch over your house. Don't go messing with all everybody else. But people climb over the wall, climb over the fence to come hurt you. They're going to blow up a little school. They're going to blow up a kindergarten bus like they do in Israel. You take them bastards out. You take those devils out. Take them out. 50 cow and send their sorry carcass to hell because they deserve it. Amen. You better have the best guns and know how to use it. <clears throat> and don't go mess with anybody, but people come messing with you. You see, you know it, and you take them out like a lion of Judah, like a fear, fearsome warrior, the Bible says. Father, Son, Holy Ghost is a fearsome warrior, it says in Jeremiah. You look at, hey, I don't know what Jesus you're talking about. He's, see, he's eyes like fire and flame. He's coming on a white horse with sword. He said, buy a sword. We got two swords each, Lord. He says, that's good. Have two guns each in these modern days, you religious fools. Like a Catholic, once you there, go over there and cut your, castrate yourself. Go over there, be a vow of poverty idiot. Be a unmarried devil freak like the Catholics. If you're going to be religious, be religious. You're not going to be wealthy. Well, just go all the way. Just go over there and be a Hindu. Go over there and cut your balls off and be a Hindu eunuch. Be a Catholic devil freak. If you're going to be a religious devil, be a religious devil all the way. You don't want a gun, go be a religious demon. You don't want to be wealthy, go be a religious demon. You don't want to have marriage and family, and raise children, so forth, so forth. Then just go be a religious, be a Catholic devil or just to go there no different than a Hindu. Just go over there and be a Hindu. Go over there and be a, a, a warlock witch up in the caves of Himalaya. If you're going to be a religious fool, be a fool. You're going to be a real Christian, be a real Christian. Be very wealthy, multimillionaire or more. Have a good wife and family, children. Be strong, be a ruler, be
be an influencer, be powerful, have guns. If you're in a, in a country that can have guns, America, Switzerland, different places. Many countries can have guns, Brazil, so forth. Own a gun, protect your family, be a good citizen. If there's someone out there raping and killing and stealing, you can intervene and help the police, or, or you're the one on the scene. Like Israel, first line of defense is the armed public. Same with Switzerland, same in America. You globalist devils come over here, we'll take you out, boy. Sniper, 50 cal, 30 out six up on that mountain. You don't even know what hit you. Bunch of fools. You better go watch Red Dawn, boy. Amen. You don't want to be any part of globalism. Collectivism and that. It's, collectivism is um, socialism, communism. Going that away. Notice all the Europeans that are into that stuff. A little Christian cult mess. They put you down for being individualistic. You yourself be right and excellent and godly, 100% for the Lord, growing and growing and growing and growing and growing and increasing, and then connect yourself with people that are like-minded, like-hearted, like-mind, like-speaking, like-actions, same, the one mind, one accord, with real people. Hook up with those people, connect with those people, get in, in, in relationship, relationship, relationship with those kind of people, and equally yoked to be blessed, not cursed by fools and hypocrites and liars and ones that aren't serious. They'll bring you down. They'll bring you down. Wake up. You and the Lord. Cursed is you, you, you trust in other people. Cursed is he who trusts in man in the arm of the flesh. Cursed. It's an idol. You and God. And then only hook up, connect with, join with people that God joins you with because of their fruit. They're safe. They're trustworthy. You don't want to be subject to stupid, evil people they're, they're going to they're playing politics and holding you down and hindering you, blocking you, pulling you down. Cut those people. Get them out of your life. Cut them out. Prophesy them out of your life. The God rebuke them in the name of Jesus Christ. Get out of globalism. Get out of collectivism. Just be self-sufficient. America, be self-sufficient. Make your own stuff. Make your own goods. Don't, don't get it from China and these devil countries. Just to save some money, you sold out your country. God rebuke you. The Lord damn you and rebuke you, you evil politicians in the last 40 years, 30 years. You evil, wicked business leaders and CEOs. Just to save some money, you, you sold out and destroyed America. God rebuke you, you bastards. You need to go to hell. You're going to unless you repent. You've ruined our country. Just to save some money. Moved your factories to overseas in China and all these places and, and left families destitute and whole little old towns and areas ruined. The factories moved out. The Lord rebuke you. Love and money, you've let evil to root out and go. God, bring them factories back to America. America first. America first. God sent President Trump to save our nation. If you don't like him, you're a devil. You're a deceived fool, an idiot. Look at the fruit. He's helping save our nation. And he's getting out the evil, crazy people from Obama. Obama was a devil, a pagan, and a communist, and a devil from hell. Amongst the Islam world, he was their man sent in to destroy America. In the secret meetings there, they were praising him and applauding him. And he's saying, look here, look at me. I've infiltrated America for the Muslim world and the communist world, and I'm destroying America. I'm doing this, I'm doing, putting all this mess to destroy America. And he was their big hero, and, he, and they were laughing at America because they put one of their evil people in place. But no more, God sent President Trump to put a stop to the ruin, the destruction, and the, the decay, and the, the ruin and the destruction. And he's uprooting all them evil people and putting patriots in there and Christians in there and godly and normal good people in there. Amen. Go and watch Patriot movie with Mel Gibson. Go and watch Braveheart. And be strong. And you learn from Israel. They quit being in the collectivist. They quit being in the world thing because the world destroyed them. Just like they're going to do Christians in America also. And get out and be your own safe place. Self-sufficient. You and God. And that's it. And let the Lord add. In the book of Acts it said the Lord added to them the right people. The Lord added to them the right people. Amen. And that's it right there. God rebuke globalism. And collectivism and all that mess, socialism, communism, all that mess. You and the Lord, individualism, nationalism, God bless it. It's the will of God. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Wake up and know what's going on. Pray for President Trump. Bless him, honor him, love him, and, and the other good people he's got going there. Write him a letter, tell him you love him and you thank God for him and you're praying and fasting for him. And pray for America. If, if America goes down, New Zealand, Australia, Western Europe, you're in big trouble, you stupid dummies. Wake up. You better respect America. Thank God for America and Israel. Help us out. This is great teaching. Look at us online. <clears throat> Calledbeyond.com. Calledbeyond.com. Help us out. Send the Thailand offering and we'll get you some more teaching.